Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have ourselves Team 2 of Ultimate Birthday dropping today in FC24, but once again, we really don't have that many leaks. Again, it was this way last week as well before we eventually found out who was going to be an Ultimate Birthday, but as of right now, we're still left wondering who's going to be out today and also what other content via SBC's objectives and especially last week we had crazy evolutions will we get more crazy evos today we're going to talk about all of that how that might impact the market and what to expect on another promo friday as the birthday party continues on fc24 if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's quickly before we go into that look at yesterday's content because we're ending team one of ultimate birthday foot birthday right as we know it with a really good player SBC, and it was Grimaldo, the left back from Leverkusen. Guys, this SBC, we're going to call him the cheap Alfonso Davies, if you will. If you never did that SBC, or if you're on more of a budget, this is a really, really good card to do. He's got Anticipate Plus, which is the best defending playstyle plus, but he also has the Incisive Pass Plus, which is really great for sliding those balls up the pitch around uh, other defenders trying to get the ball to your wingers or to your center mids right to start that attack really good card five star weak foot four star skills he can also play left mid and high high work rates is incredible as well the other play styles he's, he has on the card technical whipped pass power shot don't sleep on the power shot this guy's got 98 uh shot power long shots and uh you know 99 stamina as well it's a really really good card it is a insane card honestly for the price that he is only coming in at 84,000 coins that's why he's kind of like the cheap alfonso davies right i know he's not five star skills like alfonso davies is he doesn't have whipped pass plus but this is a left back card that is honestly really good so if you're on a little bit of a lower budget or if you just want a fun card to try out you have some leverkusen links spanish links guys the only problem with this is we have so many left backs i'm sure you guys are feeling the same way it's kind of like okay the only downside of this sbc is i've got so many left backs that are in my ultimate team that i'm using right now why do i need another one right you've got davies you've got udogi at least in in my sense i'm using rolfo as a center mid but many of you guys may be using her as a left back right the newly upgraded 92 rolfo there's so many great left backs roberto carlos dropped last week as an sbc that's the only problem but that is really really nice especially for an easy SBC to craft and just to put that card in the club. That's a really good SBC. Now, of course, yesterday on Thursday, we always get the marquee matchups too. And we did once again get that. Guys, I'll say like every single week, I get tweeted by somebody who packs something insane from marquee matchups. So you never know. It's worth your gold. If you're doing the daily gold upgrades, um, take a few of them away from like player picks and put them into the marquee matchups. Get yourself some tradable packs because you just never know. Now, Yesterday's content also brought us one thing that was new, right? We had Rivals Rewards. Apart from on PlayStation, the server's going down uh, for online gameplay, which was really weird. It was a PlayStation issue, but that's been fixed, thankfully. Apart from people not being able to claim their rewards for a while, we got to talk about this because this is something that we're going to start to see every single week with these bigger and better rewards as we especially move up the divisions right the, the further you get into a season cycle more people move up the divisions or at least try to climb up as you're winning games you just kind of automatically rank up that's how it works right so the rewards are technically for everybody if you're playing going to get a little bit better each week and the trend that we saw yesterday is that even though we are in march of this game people are still taking the tradable rewards and that was very evident by the prices of the middle to low tier fodder think about a lot of those packs being opened in division four three two one and up you've got 85 times sevens 86 times threes i think and 87 times fours in those uppermost elite divisions people were definitely taking those tradable and even some of the lower tier packs too because look at the prices of 85s 85s before rewards last night were 8.2k they went all the way down to 6.4 thousand coins that is a massive drop and then of course we shouted this out on stream right around here we were like guys buy these because they're gonna go up because the 82 times 20 is still out people are going to want to do that sbc again and they went right back up and now they're seven and a half thousand coins i'm sure people were even getting sales around 8k on lazy sales so that is something we're gonna have to watch out for every single thursday with division rivals rewards now is that since these packs are so good it's going to impact a lot of the gold fodder that people are mostly packing from those packs and it's going to bring in some supply now it's like well nate did the rest of the fodder market drop 
I mean, let's take a look at 89 overall Hegerberg. I don't think she dropped that much, but they did drop a little. Okay, yeah, they dropped a little more than I thought, right? 24,000 coins, 25K, down to 22 to 23. I knew they were down, but I thought those prices more so dropped after content. But that's not really the case. They dropped with rewards too. So Fodder definitely took the hit yesterday, more so than anything else. Like I look at the promo team of Foot Birthday players, and uh, it's not really like those cards went down with rewards like they got supplied at all. Some, in fact, went up. And that's kind of the flip side that you see also with more people taking tradable rewards. They got coins from selling that fodder and, and selling those players, right? And they went out and they bought players for their teams, for their clubs to go and use to get ready for foot champs qualifications and for weekend league. So really what it did was it kind of just put an emphasis on that Thursdays are one, going to be a really good day to watch the market from now going forward. And two, especially with trading, Thursdays are going to be very very good. Now, unrelated to that, really, I had my best day ever trading yesterday. I had my best flips ever. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. But let's move into talking about today, ultimate birthday, team number two. Now, you saw the loading screen. When we load it in, those are the only two cards that we have news about right now. It feels just the same way as it did last week with his ultimate birthday team one, when all we had on the loading screen was messy and hull it. And it was obvious that you could see that it was messy and hull it. Now, this time around, it's pretty obvious as to who's on the loading screen too, because who else is going to be five star skills, four star weak foot, and an Egyptian player with 93 pace, 94 dribbling? That has to be Mohamed Salah. It 100% is. He is getting a foot birthday card in Team 2 coming out today. And big news, it's going to be five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Also, if you compare it to his 92-rated cards, which actually he has three different 92-rated cards in this game, which is crazy. He's a Team of the Week. He's got the Winter Wild cards and the, um, what's the other one? The uh, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions. This is a really sizable boost from his 92 rated item if you go take a look 94 dribbling and 93 pace the dribbling boost here is nuts from the winter wild cards he goes up plus four dribbling and plus two pace and it's going to be really interesting to see what playstyle pluses they put on this card but we are getting yet again another salah card it'll be his he's got three informs a trailblazer the team of the honorable engines and the winter wild cards he's got a lot of cards this year but he is getting another one here's my only worry with that if salah is the card on the loading screen is he the best player in Team 2? Because remember, again, Messi was on the loading screen last week. And yeah, he is the most expensive player in Foot Birthday Team 1. And same thing with Hullet, extinct at 15 mil. Is Salah the best player in Team 2? If that's the case, what about Mbappe? He was leaked, right? Foot Sheriff did tweet that Mbappe was not in Team of the Week, so he thought he was going to be in the promo team. I would have to imagine that EA would want to put Mbappe on the loading screen, on the promo screen if they were going to start to tease something along those lines. So I don't know, guys. I'm not saying it's not happening. All I'm saying is it's maybe not as sure as we once thought before based off of that loading screen there. So we'll not read into that too much. We'll just have to see. But then again, the icon here, I feel like is very obvious as well. Well, just to backtrack for a second, uh, FIFA Trading Romania did say Salah is set to come. Everybody knows that after looking at the loading screen. That doesn't feel like a leak to me. You look at the loading screen also and you can figure out who this icon is. They have not tweeted about it and said that Pele is coming as a foot birthday icon. But like unless they're given a huge boost, I don't even know who else this, this could be. It kind of has to be Pele, guys. Pele's Winter Wild Cards icon card has 95 shooting and 95 dribbling, which would, again, this... But birthday version would be a plus one on each of those, which is what they most often do for the icon upgrades. It's simple plus ones. And then, of course, him going to five star, five star. Well, here's what I have to say about this. Say hello to another either 12 or 15 million coin um, foot birthday icon that will be extinct on the market and that basically nobody will pack. But that's neither here nor there. He's going to be crazy expensive because it's going to be Pele. He's going to be crazy juiced. But as of right now, those are the only leaks that we have. There's nobody else that's been posted by Romania, by Sheriff, by anybody else. And it kind of makes us also think back to last week because we were in the same scenario. But we actually did find out the team. If you guys do remember, there were tweets a few hours before content of this graphic right here. The official graphic of Team 1 of Ultimate Team Birthday. And it just came to us in a weird in a different way. Maybe that's going to happen again today. Guys, we're talking about an actual release that EA intended 
to have. Not really a leak because, again, this was from the Mirror Gaming Twitter account last week. We figured out Ultimate Birthday Team 1 through this account. And what they said once again is that this Mirror Gaming received FC24 Ultimate Birthday Team 1 assets alongside Global Media earlier today, which was last Friday, which had a 12 p.m. GMT embargo. So 12 p.m. UK they could post this out and talk about it. EA gave them this info and then they posted it. It's not like the leakers found out in a, some way, like black market type of way or whatever. However, they get their in, inside sources and information. And then they told everybody it was EA gave this official promo image with the official, you know, dynamic images on the cards, all the players that were going to be in packs from day one and the skill move, the weak foot boost on the cards. Like that was the exact team. That's the team we've had in packs for the last week. And they gave that info to Mirror Gaming and uh, basically a news outlet. Will that happen today is my biggest question. I don't know. So I'm going to keep a close eye on this uh, Twitter account today, Mirror Gaming, and just see what happens. And that also brings up another question. Are leaks on this game kind of uh, mudded? Are leaks gone? I don't know because we have been through. Yes, we've had evolution leaks. Yes, we've had a couple other leaks here or there. But we've been through now the second week of Ultimate Birthday without having, I would say, a true leaked promo team. Because no, normally we get to a Friday promo video like this. You guys watch the videos week in and week out. And we're looking at the full team. We're looking at who the SBC is, the objective. We're talking about how to specifically prepare for a promo Friday because we kind of know how it's going to go down because we have the leaks. And once again, for the second week in a row, we're sitting here like, hmm, what is it actually going to look like? We have no idea who's coming as an SBC player today. Last week, we had no idea about Kingsley Coman or the fact that we were getting a Socrates birthday icon SBC. We don't know any of that. So it once again does bring a level of excitement. Now, again, I'm expecting to get some sort of news on the team today. If we roll into content today on stream, link below down in the description, by the way, if you're not checking in the streams, um, if we roll into content today without any leaks or any official posts, which is doubtful, but if we don't, that would be crazy. That would be a true hype day of not knowing what is actually going to happen. But did something change to how the leakers are getting their info? Was there somebody fired? That's People are coming up with all sorts of rumors. Unless you hear it from the leakers themselves, like who knows what to believe right now with why we're not getting the leaks. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating the situation because truly without the leaks, there is more genuine excitement for all of this and uh, for the anticip anticipation of what is about to come out in that new promo so we'll just watch that out and time will tell if we're actually going to get leaks or not time will tell we'll know uh over time if that is actually something that is changing or if it is not also one thing we're going to look out for today of course after content drops is the week two goodies hopefully they give us some sort of list of what player SBCs and icon SBCs we can expect over the second week of ultimate birthday now speaking of SBCs like we already mentioned last week on Friday we had Kingsley Coman and we had Socrates I think it's probably safe to say again that we would get a ultimate birthday SBC player today uh Kingsley Coman still here for another week I bet we get somebody else and it's a promo Friday they usually drop like to drop the bigger better players and clubs on those Fridays. So there could be a really big player SBC today. I just don't know who it is. And that's kind of exciting, right? We'll have to see who it is as it comes out and kind of go through that. Kings of Coman was last Friday, of course, and it was pretty exciting. I think Socrates was more of a bigger surprise. And I think I have to imagine that we'd probably get another set of both an ultimate birthday icon SBC today and an ultimate birthday player. I hope at least that we get either one of those or both of those as player SBCs today. Just it could be different players. It will be different players. Just we're not sure who it is. And there's some excitement in that for sure. But I do expect to get a both two different SBCs for players today. One icon and one regular player SBC. Of course, in objectives last week, we had a foul cow. I would expect a new player objective inside of there. We have a lot of other objectives at the moment, like the daily play. I believe today is day 10 of the daily play since it started early. We are all getting an 84 times two today from the daily play. So make sure you get that done. That'll be nice. And yeah, that'll be there. Falcao goes away. We'll see what else they give us in objectives. Probably a quieter day there. Next question I have is what's going to happen in evolutions? And I think we can kind of tell 
I think we're getting an Evo today. It's a promo Friday. We're probably getting an Evo because the weak foot peak evolution, which is one of the two that came out last Friday. We came out last Friday with Jack of all trades and the weak foot peak. This one expires, has a really fast expiration time. I got to put somebody in this, especially because it's free and it's a really nice upgrade for the jockey plus and uh, the five star weak foot that you get. I think we maybe get one today that is skill moves related. Hopefully a free Evo that is a five star skill move boost. I don't know if they're going to do the same 85 overall max requirement. I don't know what they'll call it. We don't have any leaks right now, guys, so I'm purely speculating here, but it makes sense, right? The promo is about the weak foot and the skill move upgrades. Now, granted, we've already got a five-star, five-star Evo and another Evo that gives five-star skill moves, so maybe they won't give us one today, but it, Promo Fridays almost always have Evos as a part of them, and we haven't had any Evos since last Sunday. It was kind of like bang, bang, bang. All the Evos came out and then nothing. So I think we'll get one today. And my guess is it'll be based around skill moves. Now with all of this unknown, what is going to happen to the market today? Well, I do have a couple thoughts on this. And I think we can kind of look into the future at least a little bit and kind of forecast how things are going to move. I'm going to buy this Beth Mead for 215 because that's too cheap. Thank you very much. I'm going to watch these ultimate birthday cards from team one today because especially the ones that were so hard to pack and so hard to um, well, so rare on the market. First of all, the ones we've been trading with all week long, I think there's potential for some of these to maybe go up a little bit a few hours after content, just because they're so rare. This Varon card. Okay. This is the card last night that I made literally the, the biggest trade of the year. Um, on FC 24 ultimate team, my biggest trade of the year, I bought Varon after his price range got updated for 2.6 million, sold it for three, seven, got a little bit lucky on that sale. I think that's the highest recorded sale for Varon, but he is mega rare. So this profit was around 800,000 coins on one card. And then I bought another one for 2.09, sold it for two, three. And those two combined give me 1 million coins on two cards of after tax profit. Crazy, right? Crazy day of trading yesterday with the rivals and the, uh, champs gameplay play demand that was there as well. It is an incredible time to make coins on this market. Now, of course, we know that the market as a whole is down, right? If we look at last, let's go 14 days on this Killing Mbappe. Last Friday before content, Killing Mbappe gold was 1.49, 1.5 million. By the time we got to Sunday, he was 1.2. We had a huge, huge crash last weekend. Do I expect prices to do that again this weekend? No, not as much because we've already had such a massive crash. Last weekend was kind of like the market correction, the shock factor of like, wow, we have a bunch of foot birthdays that are coming out with good stats. And then a lot of them are affordable. The SBCs are good. The evolutions are allowing us to create really cool players on our own, but that we can even upgrade from our club, right? With existing evolutions that we had a lot of us fitting into those new Evos. So I don't think there's going to be as big of market panic this weekend. But I do, you have to think as well, especially with what we're expecting to see today is probably a birthday team of players that is going to be just as big. Right now we have like 60 something cards in packs with the ultimate birthday squad, the five star best of team one, which is also going to get replaced today by a five star best of team two. So what I would say to do is watch out for if Cristiano Ronaldo does not get a foot birthday today, which I think is still possible, maybe they put... Um, Salah on the loading screen, but Ronaldo is still going to get one. If he doesn't get a, a birthday today, I think it's almost uh, a guarantee that his winter wild cards would be re-released into packs. That's just my opinion, right? He's got five-star skills. This five-star re-release is five-star skills or weak foot players um, that could be re-released in packs. So that's one thing to be careful of, especially even if it's a middle to low tier card. A ton of prices are going to drop today because there's going to be another re-release of out of pack special cards from some of the more recent promos. The oldest promo card in this team would be Ziyech. So team of the group stage, I think. Nothing else is older than that. And Mbappe, team of the group stage. So, um, you know, watch out for other winter wild cards. I think Fire and Ice Neymar is potentially going to be in this I could guess, I could see that happening as well. So uh, that's one thing to be careful about today too, is if you have any of those potential five-star skill or weak foot players that are bigger name, popular players, even a hero, like we have Futre, Tevez, and Schneider in here, there could be some re-releases of those back into packs. But in general, with a bunch more foot birthday cards and foot birthday icons dropping on the game today, that could impact prices on the rest of the market still a little bit negatively because it's going to be more double playstyle plus players that look cracked because all of these boosts are pretty good and just new players that people want to try out and that could make some prices shift down. But what I'm trying to say is I don't think it's going to cause it's not going to be as much of a shock 
to the ecosystem of this game like it was last week with Team 1 that it's going to make prices on already existing special cards just drop off as much. I think what really matters more is the prices of those foot birthday cards today. I feel like even though last weekend there maybe wasn't a ton of tradable saved up packs, I feel like there's less tradable saved up packs this week. And maybe people who spent a bunch of money last week on foot birthday team one, maybe they won't spend as much on team two today. So maybe a little less supply, but I would 100% expect EA to continue to run those lightning rounds. They've been running the crazy lightning rounds now for like two weeks straight, even during the showdown series promo. They started running those crazy lightning rounds so i would expect those to continue today for ultimate birthday team two and icon team two as well so the market today i think really depends on if ea do any big changes like do they drop a crazy sbc player that everybody wants to go and get i would not say that coman was in that category last week he was very good but i wouldn't say he was like omg everybody has to go and do that straight away right now type of player uh think back to like trailblazers rodrigo that's like oh my goodness that's an insane card everybody goes and does it right now because it's a great price in an insane player that type of thing um that could impact the market today but i think it maybe is a little bit quieter of a day on the market but there's still a lot of demand um for these foot birthday cards and if the foot birthday cards in team two come out and they're really expensive then that's when I would really start to say, we're going to look back at team one and say, hmm, what are some cards from this team that are better than team two, if that's a thing? And then what cards could we invest in to maybe see a little bit of a market rise? Again, I'm not thinking guys like Pulisic or Milinkovic Savage or Sorloth because those cards, they're fodder, right? Maybe you buy one, you stock into the club because they're so cheap. Like guys, some of the cheapest, highest rated cards in their like ratings, 90 Lavelle, 29K for a 90 rated card is unbelievable. 89 rated, uh, 22K, unbelievable, right? That's the cheapest exchange you're gonna get for a long time if you're trying to just buy a couple cards for an exchange SBC. Um, maybe you buy one of those in stock in your club, but I don't see those moving very much. I see more of the cards like Araujo, maybe Saka, maybe KDB, those types of players. Or we're talking icons, Blanc. I think Blanc could move today. Capita could move. If Desai is in team two, then maybe Blanc doesn't do that well. That's one of the things we'll have to kind of decide once things are out. But there's not really, especially with the state of the market that we are still in, I know these cards are cracked. Yes, some of them could go up out of packs, but I'm not looking at this right now with a big set of players from team two coming today as like, we got to invest in team one as they go out of packs. I'm not looking at it like that just yet. We'll reevaluate after content and see what comes out. I want to cover fodder too. Guys, I, I don't think I want to buy fodder right now either. Like no shot am I buying fodder at the moment just because we're going to get more lightning rounds this weekend. People are going to be opening more packs today in general because it is a Friday. That means new players in packs. That means more people spending FC points, even though um, fodder is already in the mud. 85s, 84s, 5s, and 6s are up, right? We've looked at the graphs. They will probably drop back down. And I don't want to buy 88s, 89s, 90s, or 91s either because they're just they're in the mud. And it just seems like right now there is no coming back from in the mud. Unless something crazy drops today as like a really expensive but absolutely insane icon SBC. It feels like it's going to take something like that to make these prices move up. Because also think about it. We're going to get more fodder for birthdays today that are going to bring more 87, 8, 9, and 90 rated players that are eventually going to be fodder price as well. Or maybe they'll be fodder price right away. So I'm going to stay away from fodder, honestly. And if Team of the Weeks drop today, Team of the Weeks would be maybe one thing you could look into. Like, I don't know how low they're going to go. I don't know how low they already are. I heard 25,000 coins where they currently are. How much are they right now? 24, 25,000 coins. If these are like 20, I don't know, 20,000 coins flat, 22K maybe, maybe you start to get interested, but that's a pure speculation play that there's going to be an 84 times 5 or an 83 times 10 that comes back out tomorrow on Saturday when the 82 times 20 goes away that you'd be investing for. So that's, you know, it's there. I want to shout that out. People are going to be thinking of that. But this has to be replaced with something on Saturday for Team of the Week to potentially go up. So it's it's going to be a crazy day today because there's a lot of unknowns. Watch out for that early on tweet. We'll see what we get. We'll, of course, adjust space off of that. Uh, but guys, there is definitely a lot of gameplay demand at the moment. Cards are selling hot. Uh, yesterday was literally my best 24-hour trading day on this game. 
and I'm still trying to buy cards. I have a couple of Nunez that's down a lot. We'll see if he goes back up. Uh, have a couple of Mead because she's very rare and got some undercuts there. And then I do have a Marquinhos, right? Bids, guys. Bids. Like, bids. That's all that I say. Get on the bids because these cards are fluctuating like crazy on bids. And if you find the right ones, you get the right price, you can make some really good coins. So, big day today on Friday, Team 2 of Ultimate Birthday. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan from Account. See you guys there. Peace out.